All right, g'day, how are we going? This is a weird place for me to start a video. Believe it or not, there is an aeroplane inside of this shed, and this here grass runway is where it takes off. The pilot, Franco, he's coming. I'll introduce you to him, 74 years old. Been flying this plane for 30 something years. Um, he's done it all, instructed. You'll meet Franco, you'll love Franco. We're gonna go up, and this place is relatively new to me, this zone, so uh, we're gonna go up, we're gonna look at some islands. Uh, you can see the islands, you can see the ocean, see the beach. Uh, there's a little creek off the beach I want to check out. There's the main creeks, rivers here. So we'll just have a look at it all and suss it all out. So it's going to be going to be interesting to get a get a view from the air. And uh, that's how we go. And and Franco said he'd, he'd give me the control. So um, yeah, that could be interesting. But anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. This one? Yes. Uh, this one here, well, this was one of Oswald Aviation. Right. Who were the guys who built the first drifters that was certified so that we could start twin seat instruction. Right, okay. There Before you go. that, there was no legal twin seat instruction. Right, okay. So, there you go. Uh, this aircraft would have been built around 1985, maybe 84. Yeah, nice. Something Perfect. like that. Yep. Roll. Roll. Pedals. Yep. Yaw. Pedals work the rudder. Yeah. That yep. controls yaw. Here's our throttle, yep. and that controls thrust. Right. Over here. Yep. So when you're flying the aircraft, when you're flying straight and level, those four forces has to be balanced. Yep. It's full of horn, it's <laughs> But basically, Hello. basically, we're here. Point B's here, right? Yeah. Three arrows represent wind. Okay. So if the wind is coming straight down the nose, you'll be flying from point A to point B, wherever point A to point B might be. Yeah. So one arrow represents track. Yeah. So, you would simply hold the nose of the aircraft onto that point. So once you've got the aircraft set up and you're flying straight and level, you look out ahead of you and you pick a point. It could be a fucking tree in the yonder, yeah. a building, a hill, whatever, whatever it might be. And you simply guide the aircraft towards it. If the wind is coming from over here, what will happen, This, if you hold the nose of the aircraft straight along that line, by the time you get over to here, you will be over here somewhere. Yeah, the it's going to push you across. will move off. Yeah. Because the air mass is going across, you're travelling with the air mass, and so you go over. So, now, the nose of the aircraft needs to be pointing here. To compensate. To compensate. Yep. And if you're holding it correctly, by the time you get to here, you will be still on an angle like that, but you will be here. Yeah, with you.
10 to 15, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, go up and around the corner. Stuff on the boat, you know, it's just flying around everywhere. Yeah. Especially when you get really rough. Yeah, there's one. There we go. Can you just keep feeding? Yeah, I'll turn that off. Yeah, all good. Feels like a good fish, actually, yeah, Frank. Yeah. Took off like a bloody demon, eh? Might be all right. You got a camera there, Frank. <laughs> got a cameraman to that. I'm glad we were sort of getting to the end of that section now, and I was like, oh, we haven't really encountered anything, and here we go. Coming at me. Should be a good, good mackerel, eh? Should be a mackerel. Oh, he's come off. He's come off. Just then. What happened there? He just came off. Took a hell of a run. Just shook his head. Damn. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, he whacked guys. it all right. Just proves you win some, you lose some. Uh, can't win them all. He whacked it though. Look at that. That was a good fish. Must have just had him on that back treble there. Good fish, Drew. It was. It was big. Nothing makes them bigger like losing them, eh? <laughs> Massive. 30 kilo job, I reckon. At least 30, 40 kilo. <laughs> At least. Ah, oh, that's a shime. Never mind, there could be another one, mate. Eh? Yeah, we might just keep going for a bit, eh? Have you, for everything. Have you been up to the top of the line yet? No, no, no. you no. Go? Yeah. Can you walk up? Is there a track up there, is there? Yeah, right, eh? True, eh? Yeah. And I'm still fitting up the behind the bloody tower. True, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he's into that, that. Yeah, let's do that. What's the tide doing? Well, still I'm not got... sure what the time is. Or... Well, you got, you oh, got... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. What am I I'm talking shit? The tide's about 3.30, this low tide. Well, tide, yeah. yeah. So you still got 30 yeah. centimetres of tide to come no up. Yeah, no dramas so at all. We've got 3.5. If we get to mate, how long it'll take to drop a metre, you'd still have a metre. Yeah. We'll be well and truly back by then. Yeah, cool. You know, I don't mind getting in the water, but you might. That's nah, alright. You don't mind? That's nah, alright. So we've got to swim to. Yeah, she's pretty grown over, eh? Just in here somewhere, is it? Big pardon? Just in, in front of us here, is it? The... It's here somewhere. Yeah, right, eh? Looks like it might it's be right in front of us here. And from memory, I'm thinking that it's just... Yeah, it's here somewhere. Somewhere here, yeah, right, eh? Well, we've got one and a half metres here, so... Right up in the mangrove. Oh, you know what? It's that fucking high here. I think you can tie it to the bloody mango. Yeah. You know what? It might be more fucking difficult to find than I think it is. Because now... Yeah, it's very... There's water everywhere. It's super, um... It's super high today, isn't it? Still another... Fucking... Six metres of water in there, well, eh? before we go stomping in there... Yeah. Chuck a lot of a look. a bit. Yeah. Because now I'm going to... Mmm. I remember I tied a marker to... Oh, to the entry. To one of the mangroves. I'm pretty sure it wasn't any further that way. That way. Yeah. I know. Actually, that, that coconut tree makes a good... Uh, That's a good landmark, isn't it? Yeah. No, it nah, it's just all rock there, eh? Yeah. So it's in there somewhere. 
get up there, you can stay in the boat. Oh, you want to go for a I'll look? I'll get up there and see if I can find the track. Yeah, alright. Just go back that way. Just yeah, we'll go back over there. there. What it is, um, group, yeah. they used to, there's a couple of old cement pads up there. Yeah, alright. And they used to pull up and they come out with the vehicles yeah. and then they go up and that's how they used to service the road. Oh, true. But as they got more and more into the greeny side of things, yeah. they didn't want them doing that, they eh? They didn't want to damage anything and yeah, so they true. started doing everything by helicopter. Yeah, true. And they usually do that from our place because I give them permission to use the property. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's over there. It's Definitely where we first pulled up, eh? Yeah. Alrighty. Cool. Well, I will drop you in there and then I'll yeah. anchor. Yeah, do that. And then... I really can't find it. Yeah. There's no point in getting it. Yeah, for sure. No, it's alright. We'll work it out. The other thing we always got to keep in mind these days, go over there please, is that you can come across a cross. That is true. No worries. Now, reason for coming over here. Good little. Shit! <laughs> it's still deep enough up to be. Still deep enough to be up to me friggin' waist. True. No, it's okay, I'll go there. Yeah, about a metre and a bit here still. Where I am, yeah. Fuck, fuck! Hey, waterproof. What I really didn't like to happen! Then... This little coral bar. Yeah, righto, cool. We'll just put it here then, I suppose. Yeah. What a bad little landing zone, eh? Perfect. It's a good little landing zone there, actually. Not bad. Ah, I did alright. We did alright. Oh yeah, pretty. This is it, eh? The track pretty well, eh? Yeah. See this concrete here, eh? All grown over. Yeah, you can't lose it from here, eh? Big concrete slabs here. Must have been some time since they stopped doing that, eh? Long time. Yeah, it's fully grown over, eh? Yeah, Very cool. What was the last reason? They they had to drop guys off here. Mm -hmm. For some reason. Yeah, right. Change a bulb. Change a light bulb. <laughs> no, it wasn't up this time. These islands used to be chock block full of rats. The rats? Yeah. Good income. Yep, and I found, out, found that out the hard way the first time. Mm -hmm. Coming over here with a mate many yeah. years ago. Mad team. We got our tucker in a polystyrene box and yep. in ice cream containers. Yep. The fucking thing chewed through the polystyrene. <laughs> to get the lunch. It got to the point where I wouldn't sleep on the island. And um, if I was staying overnight, I'd stay in the boat. Yeah, right. You should keep your food then. It's, um, I've heard more than one story of Blake sleeping on the beach getting bitten by a rat. Yeah, true, eh? Yeah, my sister was one of them. 
So they've tapered off a bit now, the ruts, or you yeah, don't know? Well, well, I don't know. Yeah. They, um, but, um, a while back, they did a rat bait, um, or put it the other way, rat eradication program. Oh, yeah. And they dropped bait from helicopter. Oh, true. Yeah. They oh, were well. supposed to do all the islands. Well, hopefully put a dent in it. Shotgun shells over here. Shotgun shells yeah. here. Over Shotgun here, look. They're fucking still coming over here doing that. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. That is amazing, Drew. Yeah. The moment, we, we were walking along there, right? Mm. And I'm thinking, should I tell Drew about all the <laughs> Torres Strait pigeons here and how... People used to come here shooting the bastards yeah. with shotguns. Honest to God. Yeah, honest to God. And then and I, I saw thought, that. I thought, I'll leave it for a bit. <laughs> and you walked over the top of it and said, shotgun shout. So, come over and hunt them, eh? Oh, you've got no idea, mate. Pretty rough, isn't it? And, to make it worse, over at, over at Normandy, where the trees are real low, yeah. you know, if you really want them, you shoot them with a the Shanghai. Yeah. Oh, there'd be fucking cartridges everywhere. True. Yeah. Oh, well, but that's paper for you, isn't it? Steel boat. You know, this is oh. where you've got to watch that. You don't step in the parking. Yeah, right. There could be none, but you never know. Could be a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Yeah, the track built, hidden dead grass was there. Yeah. When I came up the last time, and it was lying in the in the in there. In, in this stuff here. Yeah, true. It's not there today, but it could be anywhere. Could be anywhere, eh? Right? We moved on. Whew. This is it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, madness, isn't it? Look at that. One more to go. Look at that. We made it, Frank. Who needs the gym? Not us. Look at it. Pretty amazing, eh? That's where we were this morning down there. Look. A couple of birds working down there. Look at that. Chasing something. Look, see the tuna busting up all the way down there. Yeah, that's cool. Bloody train. Yeah, that's sick, eh? Very good. Perfect. Beautiful day. Thanks. Thanks for bringing me up here, Frank. Put the workout on me. <laughs>